Y'all yeah, what it do? Back at y'all with another one. Uh, shit. <laughs> we got the policeman, the policeman, the policeman. Got some bad guys. Got some bad guys. Each one, teach one coming soon, y'all. As soon as y'all tell somebody, tell somebody, tell somebody, then we get this money circulating. It's the easy way, the right way, the proper way. You know what I mean? Get these bills paid. But shit, right now we got some uh, pedophiles and stuff, man. Most of them work for Disney and stuff. And I think judges, it's judges and shit. Y'all watch y'all kids out here, man. Y'all girls, stop being so motherfucking fast out here. Where y'all gonna have time to grow up and have bills and kids and shit. You feel me? Like, yeah, take y'all time. Like, hey, for real, for real. Uh, let's get it in. Watch our kids, though. Here. It is. It's just. It's unbelievable the victims we get with our human trafficking operations. And we identified one this time that I'll talk about without her name. Many times it takes follow up investigation by this wonderful team of counselors in order to get there. But let's start with Mr. Finley. Mr. Finley is not involved in this from a human trafficking slash prostitution operation, but we hit a grand. Yeah, they had got a whole bunch of people for human trafficking, molest molestation, uh, trying to talk to the little young young babies and stuff, hitting them up on the text messages and stuff. You know, they had sting operations and all, but he, he going to some of it, but I just want to give y'all some more content. Slam in that we also found child sex predators. And he's the first child sex predator that we identified. He's 39 years of age. He's a handyman. He's from Mulberry. <laughs> a handyman. And he traveled to our undercover location thinking he was going to engage a very young child. For sex. I would think kids would be scared of this nigga. Look at how he look. Newsflash. Like it wasn't baby. a very young child. It was a group of detectives. He's been charged as a result for traveling, for resisting arrest. That's right. He ran from us. He didn't want to go to jail. He had meth. What? He was also a t a charged with attempted lewd battery Good and transmission of some very ugly stuff that he thought was going to a 13-year-old child. So it would be, have been a grand slam oh, Johnny, week for all of our resources and efforts if we'd have just gotten Timothy Finley, who thought he was traveling to meet a child. It's pretty nervy if you think about it. He was showing up at the child's residence when he thought mom and dad weren't there. But he wasn't alone. Then there's Shannon Johnson, he's 41. He's from Orlando. Yeah. You know, it's interesting, the Orlando stations aren't here today. They should be, because <laughs> they got a lot of these problems over in Orlando. My man said it and the community be, over there needs to be made aware right. of it. That part. He thought he was communicating with a 13-year-old child. He wanted to be her daddy. What? He wanted to have different kinds of sex with what he thought was a 13-year-old child. He works at a warehouse. He was charged with traveling, attempted lewd battery, transmission of photos of himself, nude photos, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. And, <laughs> and, What's up? and What's up? he didn't have any children himself but he wanted to play this game of daddy. That's right. Good. He, he has a, a criminal history. Think and when we arrested him, he said, you got me. No You're right. We got him. So if we'd arrested two child predators, that would have been a grand slam week. Man, the most y'all can get the better. But we got another one. This guy's from Gainesville. Big Bubba. He's employed in construction. He did not travel, but he communicated with what he thought was a 14-year-old child online and said, 
don't tell the cops. And then he sent videos and stills of himself doing things an adult should never do in the presence of a child to himself. or publicly or recorded for public consumption. Nasty stuff. <laughs> what, what, what was Rose it? here, Jody Rose, is a nasty, nasty guy. What, He's 36 what years old. What was it? So we traveled to <laughs> Gainesville to get him. Or had... What was it? All right, y'all got him. Oh, damn. My boy. He got a black material. Dude. And one count of unlawful communication. Oh, did I mention that he just happens to be a lifeguard at the Polynesian Resort for Disney. What? You think there's a few children around there? That's right. I didn't stutter. He was a lifeguard at the Polynesian Resort for Disney and was bragging about that. What? So we were able to arrest four predators in this operation. It, this is huge. Four arrests of this magnitude in a week are, is simply remarkable. That part. But let's move on. These guys weren't predators, but they all have something in common with the last arrest. They work for Disney. Damn, Disney. So you have Wilkerson Fidel. Yeah, he He's 24. He lives in Orlando. Right, Disney name he thought he much. was coming for sex. He's been a Disney employee for four years, okay. and he works at the Cosmic Restaurant in Tomorrowland, except now he is in the county jail if he hasn't made bond yet. Yeah. And then there's Shahab Malav. He's 27. Okay. He's a software developer for, for Disney. Disney. Damn. He's worried because he's here on a work visa, visa from India. He thought he was coming to have sex with two un ladies. Surprise, once again, undercover detectives. Some babies. Then there's Ralph Lease. He's 45. He lives in Winter Garden. He's an IT employee for Disney. He's been there about four years, and he's married. So I'm sure Disney's not pleased. I bet his wife's not pleased. But we're pleased that we arrested him. Curly and Mo. That's crazy. I'm going to tell you about a trafficker. Okay. It's not often we arrest traffickers at the undercover site, but we did. How do you know? He's and normally, when we arrest traffickers at the undercover site, it's a male. Let oh. me introduce you to Tiffany Nash. She was the trafficker of a young lady. Tiffany's 32 years of age. Why she's not been busy committing crime, because she has 61 previous criminal charges, 41 of them felonies and 20 as misdemeanors. She's the manager of the Kentucky Fried Chicken in Orlando. Now, I just don't believe I'd want any finger-licking good chicken that she touched. Just saying. What she does is she would set up the deal. And then she would force this young lady, this victim, to come along. This deal was for $300. If this lady were lucky, she would get $20. So the lady, the victim, Ubered over, followed by Tiffany to make sure that the deal went, the deal went right, and Tiffany got her money. As soon as we so she was took the victim down ostensibly for an arrest, this wonderful team determined she's a victim. So she's not criminally charged and she's not up here on this board because she's immediately turned over and treated as a victim not a criminal suspect in an event. She was a prostitute. So Tiffany's been tra charged with human trafficking, deriving proceeds, okay, possession of cocaine, Fuck possession that, of... Pause. 
down below. Put it in the comments. Do y'all think that girl was a prostitute? Did she just wiggle her way out of charges and shit? And threw everything on Tiffany? Or uh, y'all think that she ain't what was going on? She was belligerent to the situation. She wasn't getting none of the money. And y'all know how the game and pimping game go, man. Come on now. Like, she was a female pimp. Like, she, but it's 61 charges. But, all right, let's get it. Uh, math possession of paraphernalia. And guess what? Do everything on Tiffany. She's not managing the Kentucky Fried Chicken place today. She's in our county jail. Duh. And we don't serve finger-licking good chicken there. Stop throwing that business under the bus. The victim has been <laughs> turned over for services. Crazy, man. Then we have Daniel Peters. Yeah, I'm about to end it. It's getting crazy. 66 years old. Hey, Grandpa. He thought he was coming for a girlfriend experience. Kind of a date. What a little he went girl. on an escort site. Okay. Oh, can I show you the other oh, yeah, picture? Oh, y'all getting other people, too. Y'all getting Daniel Peters. The this is the Honorable Daniel Peters, who is a retired judge from Cook County, Alabama. All right, so the judge, I can't throw the judge in there with the human trafficking and the, and the molestation stuff. He ain't did the, the molestation stuff. He only, uh, oh, we getting the uh, still picture. I ain't going to lie, judge. We got to throw you up there. Here it goes. It's selfie time. Selfie, selfie, selfie time. Here it goes. It's selfie time. <coughs> selfie time for the judge. Clean. Yeah, selfie time. All right, so the judge, he just went him some punani. He old. He ain't got time to be going on Instagram and all these dating sites. Uh, mingle for the old tingle, you know. He ain't got time for the old whatever. Y'all wasn't playing too hard to get for judge. He ain't got time. He just went throw some cash out there. But he ain't got the right networking skills, I guess, to know the right people. For the, uh, the women who does that without them getting involved. You know, uh, damn. So what I went through the judge head every time he had a case of, um, what they charge the women with, soliciting? All these soliciting cases, like you just let the women go. They let my women go. Like, oh man. Alright, shit. Kudos to the judge. I'm gonna end it right here. Shit. I don't wanna hear about what the judge got going on. He tried to pay for something. It wasn't uh the right person. Probably was her. This lady right there back there in the background. Um I don't know. He probably wouldn't have tried to pay for that one. But yeah, um, they threw a little woman out there. She she threw on something nice and tight, and she an undercover cop or whatever, whatever, whatever. And um, I know he just felt bad and probably anger about the situation. He just like I just want to meet some, you know what I mean? But uh, seeing that you be a judge, they're gonna be very leaning on you. You got a clean background and everything. Uh. Very embarrassing. So we're going to embarrass the fuck out of you. <laughs> you feel me? You should have stayed with your wife or whoever you was with early in life, man. You ended up in this situation. Damn it, man. Anyway, you ain't getting a lot of time for that. Uh, You just try to buy some poom poom. You ain't real. I don't think it's just like a misdemeanor or some shit. I don't know. You ain't did nothing too bad. Everybody want poom poom. So the next judge is going to kind of understand a little bit. He going to be like, well, I know I ain't never doing that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end this right here, judge. Holla at your ass, too. Um, put a little work in next time, man. Shit, just walk through the, uh, I don't know where old people go at. I don't know, man. Go somewhere where old people go, bro. And just the orthotics. The orthotics place. Stay around the orthotics place. Catch the old women coming in there. Hopefully one of them look decent uh go somewhere you want something young just go grab something young shit conversate with her 
Man, shit, it's some out here. Man, bruh, you just got to catch them. You got your goddamn webcam models out here. You got your OnlyFans girls out here. You got a lot of people out here. Shit, you an honorable old judge. Like, you a sugar daddy. Like, pay them bitches. Like, you know, you could have had, like, a situation going on, but you don't want to put no work in to find nothing. Like, a lot of girls need their bills paid, judge. No, you ain't. You don't need too much. Like, you like 10 minutes. 10 minute 10 bands <laughs> you know they out you for that but shit two time game we out that's crazy damn man put your work in judge crazy man crazy man this nigga here he just got down shitting on everybody he having fun with the shit at this point <laughs> he having fun with this at this point we had a grand slam week this nigga just and still got more to go this nigga hell, boy. Till next time, two game. I'm out.